we're starting to see some of the creditors come out in the case against Voyager Digital, some of the largest creditors. It's actually surprising to find out who they are. We don't know everyone just yet, but we'll get into it. And they have a they have a new committee out to decide the future of Voyager Digital that I think you should know about. And the date of August 4th is becoming more and more important for them. Welcome to Crypto Housewife. Today is July 21st, 2022. And here's an article on decrypto.com Benzinga Benzinga CEO Jason Raznick among bankrupt Voyager's largest creditors court documents show okay so it's starting to come out who the largest creditor creditors are and this is important so ironically uh he wrote it's a great app and does have loyal user users so he wrote he wrote that in a tweet a few days before voyager digital actually filed for bankruptcy and i gotta say i think they did have a lot of loyal followers and that only makes it worse i guess so jason rasnick ceo of media company benzinga has been named to the unsecured creditor committee this is important the unsecured creditor committee committee in the Voyager digital bankruptcy case, according to a recent court filing. So in chapter 11 bankruptcy proceedings, creditors committees normally consist of people and companies that have the seven largest unsecured claims against the debt, the debtor debtor in this case being Voyager digital. All right. It's a big role. One of the committee's responsibilities. Now this, this here is going to, change things up is to come up with a plan for how the business will be reorganized without which the case cannot be concluded or decide if the company should be liquidated liquidated so we don't know what's going to happen still to this company but you'll know who who is going to be behind thinking up the strategy it'll be the unsecured creditors the largest ones the seven largest ones it should be anyway. So notably, a virtual court hearing on August 4th, 2022 at 11 a.m. Eastern Time will determine how long customers and creditors, customers and creditors have to, to submit proof of their claims against Voyager. Parties wishing to participate have until next Friday, July 28th to file their comments in writing with the court. All right. So that's really, really important to remember that. So I don't know. Um, what will come out of this? Will they be able to restructure Voyager to digital or will they just sell it off? Will they just sell it off? Who knows? But we were going to find out. Okay. Other than that, um, nobody's really commenting. This article is really good. I'm going to put a link in it and check this out. Consolidated list of holders of deb- debtors, 50 largest unsecured claims. So they don't have many showing here. I think they'll show one. But this list is going to get bigger and bigger. Here's some of the amounts. And they don't show the name. It's just on file. And we'll see who who are some of the largest creditors, to give you an idea. And uh, interestingly, it says $1 million claim from Google as a vendor. Uh, Who else here? Um, No. Okay, they're saying also the fact remains that Raznick likely wouldn't be appointed to the creditors committee unless he had one of the largest claims against Voyager, ranging from three to ten million. So if he does make the cut there, he could be on the committee. So just interesting stuff. This article really dug deep. I was surprised. That's awesome. Okay, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, yeah. And remember, none of this is financial advice. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that like, and I will keep you guys notified on the latest Voyager Digital news. So hit that bell. You'll be notified when my next Voyager Digital video comes out. Have a great day, folks, and I will catch you guys in the next one. And thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.